What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton. So today's video is going to be outfits I like. I got this idea from Emma Chamberlain, the queen herself. I always felt like I wasn't able to post an outfit styling video unless it was for like an occasion. So for example, I would only post fashion or outfits I liked when it revolved around something. So styling them for Valentine's Day, styling them for New Year's Eve, styling them for date night. And she literally just posted a video and was like, here's a bunch of outfits I like. And I was like, the concept is so simple, yet why have I never just done a video of outfits I like. So that is what we're doing today. I'm in a different spot because I want you guys to see like full body fit. It's going to be super cash and I'm just going to talk through, walk you through some of my favorite outfits, this being the first one. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you guys know when I'm posting and let's get into it. This is outfit number one. I'm obsessed with this because this is just all the tones that I like. I have this brown shirt from Brandy Melville. It's just like a little long sleeve and then I actually cropped it so you can see it. It's tucked into my bra on the back. I feel like if I was actually wearing this out, I would change that. But the pants are what give this moment like a look, okay? These pants are split leg. Oh, they're on the inside. The pants are split legs. You can see they're like this pleather nude color. And then I have this little Gucci bag here. Obviously, you don't need a Gucci bag to style with this, but I just figured like tying in all the browns and stuff like that. And then I'm wearing little like kitten heels with this. I actually hate these heels so much. I left my white little like strappy kitten heels in Texas. So the only ones I have are these brown ones and they don't fit me. So they're kind of sliding off, but they look so cute. For jewelry, I feel like this look is cuter. Just like keeping it simple. You just have like one little necklace on there. You can even do like a bunch of little dainty ones, but these pants are really the cutest things I've ever got. I just got these and like, I'm so obsessed. They make my butt look good. If you're on the same brown vibe as me this year, then you need these pants. Like they're going to be the best investment ever. I also think a huge trend in 2021 is gonna be the split leg pants, like jeans, uh, like kind of like yoga style pants and even like the little leather pants like this. I have another pair I'm gonna show you that's really cute, but this, this is the first outfit that I'm loving as of right now. Oh my gosh. This outfit, I just had to put it second because I like could not wait to get into it. You guys saw this sweater if you guys follow me on Instagram. It's from Verge Girl and it is the best sweater I've ever worn in my life. Like it just fits this vibe so much. I wish I would have done this makeup and this hair when I posted it on Instagram, but anyway, this is the cutest thing ever. So I paired this little colorful sweater. I really think 2021, the colorful, like funky, old school sweaters are coming back. They're everywhere. House of Sunny makes some really cute ones. Like I just see them all over Pinterest and I can just tell that this vibe is back, which I'm very happy about. But anyway, I paired it with these Aritzia Molina pants. They're the best leather pants, I'm not kidding. Like I know that they're expensive, but I will never ever wear another pair of leather pants in my life. But the best part of this outfit, guys, look at these boots like they're insane they're from naked wolf they sent them to me and they are the most comfortable thing like i just feel like i want to oh you guys can't see <laughs> i just feel like i want to strut around my house all day like i just feel like a bad this look is like funky to me so i felt like throwing on these little boots would be cute with it and again i also think that these boots will also be in style in 2021. So very excited to have them. They have some higher up ones. I'm probably gonna style these with other outfits, but what really makes an outfit is the energy you bring to the outfit and also just the hair and everything like that. If you look at this outfit, there's not much to it. I'm literally wearing a colorful sweater and some leather pants and black booties, which seems basic, but you know what? When it's all together with the little pigtails in the hair, when you make the boots all funky, like it's a look and I'm here for it. Also in this video, I want you guys to comment uh, down below which outfit is your favorite so I can tell uh, what style you guys like and things like that. But this is the second outfit and I love it. This outfit might be my favorite thing I've like ever put together. I'm so obsessed with this. This outfit makes me feel like I should be like, I'm not though. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this whole look. So this dress is from Lioness. I'm pretty sure I got it off of Princess Polly, but they have it in a bunch of like other colors and styles and stuff. And then this blazer is no longer sold, but I just really liked 
the blazer paired with like the baggy, you know, like blouse things. I feel like that makes the look look just so much more cash and stylish, like having the sleeves come out of the little blazer. And then I paired it again with these little guys. I love them. I feel like it just looks like so funky. And then I'm obsessed with this hat. I just got it. It's a chrome hearts hat. And I just really am trying to like style it and bend it so it fits my head well. But I just thought a baseball cap with like this dress and funky little like boots is so cute. I've been trying to style baseball caps more. I feel like they're definitely coming back. And I wanted to style a simple baseball cap look because all my other baseball caps are like blue, pink, whatever. If I did have a bigger size blazer, I would rather layer this dress with that just because like that's more fun and stuff. But literally. Oh, and I added a darker lip because I felt like the last lip color was not it. This might be my favorite, you guys. So, you know, hold your votes until the end. I know you're dying to comment, but I don't even want to change out of this, except for I will say my hoo-hoo is about to come out of here because this dress is so dang short. So I need to change before we end up on OnlyFans. Okay, so we all know sweater vests are like a vibe right now. I got this one at Goodwill. I can literally still have the tag somewhere on this Let's see. Let's see how much this was. $20? Okay, well, I thought it was gonna be like five. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, I paired this little oversized sweater vest with this huge button up. I bought this on sale at Urban Outfitters like five years ago. And what I really love doing is keeping the oversized sweater vest or whatever over the button up, but you leave the button up unbuttoned. So I only buttoned it like right here so it stays put, but you leave it open. And I feel like that adds like a little bit of like layering and stuff to it. And then I have this bag. It's from the brand Pete and Jane off of Princess Polly. And then I have these little leather uh, like sock booties. So what I did with the shoes, I need a backup so you guys can see. But what I did with these, jeans is they were super huge and like baggy they're kind of like bootleg so i roll them up so it gives it again another like layering what i really wanted to do with this is kind of like make a whole oversized texture layering look while normally people would probably wear like skinny jeans or like more form-fitting jeans with this i feel like it's cute like keeping with the baggy jeans, baggy top, baggy, like everything's baggy. And the bag being like this little textured puffy bag, I feel like it adds to the look. And then obviously because it's so, oh my God, obviously because it's such a baggy outfit, I was like, I can't just like leave my hair down. You wanna look like you're somewhat put together, which is why I have the jewelry on, the hoops on. And I put my hair in a ponytail because I was just like, this is already so sloppy looking, but it's sloppy like she. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like, okay, I'm gonna go run some errands. I'm gonna look cute. What I love about this too is you can throw like a puffer on with this. You can throw whatever jacket. You could even throw an oversized blazer with this on and it would be really, really cute. I'm gonna try and link some items like this down below, but honestly, this whole outfit you could get thrifted. Go to your thrift store, get this little sweater vest. I literally got mine at Goodwill. They have so many of these oversized men's tees. Go in the men's section and shop away because it's actually so much easier. This is my other outfit. I love it so much. This is just like a super casual but like trendy Puy Taylor look. Oh my God, guys. I love this look except for, okay, so I did this thing with my hair. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it, but I did the little like, why am I turning so you guys can't see? I did this little like, ponytail thing where you like put a bunch of rubber bands in there. Anyway, this is the next outfit. So I got this huge like oversized little racer jacket off of Depop. Go on Depop, type in racing jacket, NASCAR jacket, whatever it is. And there's so many on Depop. So if you guys want one, you can get them. Obviously there's different ranges. This one I think was like $50. So it really wasn't bad at all to have one of these. There are some like exclusive ones that are like $300, $400, but like don't do that. Anyway, this is the full fit. So I have this little tank top underneath it. It's from Revolve. The pants are from Revolve and I'm wearing the little split pants. I'm obsessed with these. These are so perfect. Honestly, you guys could wear, like you know how you have those like pink yoga pants that are like flared at the end? You could probably just like cut them and like make them split like this, but I'm wearing the little sneakers with them. I just feel like this whole like look is a moment. I, for some reason, am obsessed with wearing huge oversized jackets over 
little bitty like crop tops like this. I don't know why, I think it's kind of fun. So this is the next look. This honestly actually reminds me of that like one photo of Madison Beer. She has that like M&M huge oversized jacket. I actually think it's a racing jacket. It's probably on the screen already so you guys can see what it is. But this outfit kind of reminds me of that because she's wearing like, you know, high waisted and then a little bra and then a razor, like whatever. Anyway, this just like adds another element to your outfit. I feel like the little racing jacket always does. So this is our other outfit. I don't know how many more outfits I can do because I take so much time styling them that by the time I get back to you guys, I'm like, oh my God, I'm running out of clothes. Let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos though, like just styling these for fun. Uh, but it does take me a long time, so I can't do, you know, 107 like how Emma did, but I can do a couple in one video if you guys actually like them. <gasps> this outfit looks like I work a corporate job, except if you were allowed to, you know, have your titties out and stuff. <laughs> Anyway, I'm wearing this little like low cut. It's like literally so low like this is actually where it goes But you know it keeps like folding over but it's so cute. I have this oversized blazer This is from girlfriend. It's all off of revolve. My favorite thing with this is the hair tuck So like when your hair oh, Did my nipple come out? I have this oversized blazer I love this because it has like heavy shoulder pads in here but I just feel like it kind of adds another element to the outfit. This is super simple, like literally just little jeans. These jeans are from Urban Outfitters and then I'm wearing these black booties from Nasty Gal. They're actually like a little snake skin, so it gives it a little texture, but I just really like this. I feel like obviously it's very simple. You throw a little blazer on with a black top, but what I like is that the black top is like just a little bit more like sensual. It's not so basic, like I'm serving you a little rib cage, you know? Because <laughs> you actually can't really see like anything it's just there for the illusion oh and then I have this bag also that I felt was really cute with it and now it really looks like I work at a corporate job like I feel like I look like my mom in this outfit I feel like this is like what my mom would wear hey Google pause <laughs> okay this is the last outfit I wanted to kind of end it with like a sweats styled outfit also these sweats are twin flames and they're restocking on the 23rd so you better get you some sweats i'm wearing a size small right now um but yeah so i wanted to style a little sweats outfit my favorite thing to do is to add a little long sleeve crop with this so basically like if i were to take the button up off it's like a cute little like moment i just look a little bit more put together i pair it with these chunky sneakers but I love adding like patterns to simple outfits like this. So this is literally just a white top and baby sweats, but when you add stripes or polka dots or zebra or even cheetah, like add a striped or like patterned layer over top of whatever simple outfit you're doing, I think it makes it so cute. It's the same with any outfit. Like if you're gonna do just plain blue jeans and then a white crop top, add over top of that like a little cheetah for some reason i just feel like it makes every look look better like without this if i were to just be like hey guys um I, this is my last outfit i put this together you would be like okay great you put on a white long sleeve and beige sweatpants but then when you add the stripe little moment over it you could even add a little purse with this i would add like my prada like crossbody bag over this it looks like a moment like it looks like a look i mean obviously i'm just obsessed with this i always wear this little striped top over it almost looks like pajamas but i promise it's not anyway this is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i know it was super random but i just wanted to show you guys a few outfits that i like right now i got some new stuff in the mail and i figured why don't i just put it together and show you guys how i'm feeling about it so that is today's video if you guys like this video you guys like videos like this where i'm just casually talking to you guys about how I put together an outfit like fit like I'm so comfortable with you guys I literally just picked my nose like on camera like mid sentence like as if I'm talking to a friend anyway if you guys like outfit videos like this leave a comment down below and please let me know which outfit is your favorite because I really want to know what style you guys like and things like that so let me know also don't forget to subscribe you guys get it the red button down below I'm gonna shut up I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time bye Thank you.